Hello cookbook friends and welcome. This is Make It Japanese. Learn the fundamentals of cooking Japanese with 85 plus essential recipes. This is a fantastic cookbook. I love Japanese food. We went to go visit Japan and it made me fall in love with Japanese food even more because it was like, oh, I'm getting real Japanese food now. This is fantastic. So let me show you the table of contents. I love how this cookbook is laid out. It's pretty simple. Vegetables, meat, seafood, rice, noodles, gathering sweets and breads. We also have just a great introduction. I love how our author is sharing her story. Photos as well. But the fundamentals is really nice. Learning some of the pantry essentials you'll need to make Japanese food. I have most of this. I think there's a few things in here I don't have, probably because I ran out like my okonomiyaki sauce. It's gone, but we have a ton of these in my pantry, and it truly, it doesn't require a ton to make something like authentically Japanese. So this is a really awesome cookbook. It talks about the different tools. Let me show you the actual recipes though. So let's begin with loaded vegetable, vegetable miso soup. I love how colorful this is. It's so pretty. Here we have the kanji of the loaded vegetable miso soup. On the very top, it talks about her story, where it comes from, and things that, you know, like just informational bits. Like this soup doesn't require a ton of work. In fact, it's probably like you can mix and match vegetables. You get your stock and your broth and the miso, throw it all together and call it a day. There is some tips here. It says you will only only use about a quarter of a kombucha squash for this recipe. To store leftover kombucha or kombucha, scrape out all the seeds, tightly wrap the squash in plastic, and refrigerate up to a week. So here's our list of ingredients. It is in, uh, let's see, US. I don't see any metric in here, by the way. And there are some additional bits in here. So for instance, it says four cups of kombu dashi, instant or homemade. So there's a page number for that. We have our list of directions as well. So it's a pretty standard cookbook, but I like it's pretty easy to read. We have roasted cauliflower gourmet A. I hope I said that right. This looks very yummy. I've never seen, I never saw, I think, any cauliflower really when we were in Japan, but I like that we're making flavors that are not necessarily just from Japan, but maybe from somewhere that you shop in the United States or the UK, something, you know, like cauliflower and making it have some Japanese flavor, like curry would be delicious. Oh, so good. Fried eggplant with miso sauce. Delicious. That looks fantastic. Oh, karage, I just saw, but let's go to potato salad. Yum. We have here a cabbage salad with lemon miso dressing. And then we go on to our meat section. In the very beginning of the chapter, you'll get all of the different page numbers and the recipes you will find, which is very, very helpful. Sweet and sour chicken with balsamic vinegar sauce. Delicious. What's not to love? We also have a spicy chicken salad. So something I just want to point out here is that if you do have a gluten intolerance or if you're vegan vegetarian, there's no actual sign indicators that the recipes are gluten-free, vegetarian, etc. You have to read through everything, but there are easy substitutes for for these things like soy sauce. You can get um oh my gosh, like I get it all at tamari. <laughs> I almost lost it. I swear I have celiac. I buy tamari on the regular. That's all I that's all I buy. Anyway, we have ginger pork chops. Delicious. I love that. That looks wonderful. Uh, we have char siu, which looks amazing. Step-by-step -step photos, even to make it easier on us as we prepare these dishes. Personally, I'm a visual learner, so it's really helpful. So there are some chapters kind of throughout this book that are they kind of take the time to really explain something like dashi. So what's the history of dashi? What are some ways you can make dashi? So it's really cool to read through a lot of this and get a lot of just like kind of the breaking everything down. Like how to cook rice. I mean, for a long time I was cooking rice incorrectly and yes, for a very long time, especially when I was in my teens, I didn't wash my rice. I didn't know any better. So 
Stuff like this. All right, so we have a Oyako Don recipe. I, I think I've actually made this on accident because I was like, I want something with rice and egg and mushroom. We have a salmon rice bowl. Love the colors, they're so pretty. Next up, we have corn rice. So different variations on rice. Uh, onigiri, this is an awesome snack. And you can basically kind of modify this however you want. You can make a sweet, savory onigiri. How to build a bento, super cute. Easy soy sauce ramen. So you don't have to go and buy ramen all the time. You can actually make it your, at home. We have a spicy tuna mez, mazemen, sorry. Yum. This is a, oh goodness, camembert cheese mazemen with prosciutto. So a bit of a fusion dish, but it looks delightful. Uh, Hayashi chuka. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It looks awesome. And it looks like, is this a tomato? It's so pretty. We also have, this looks like gyoza with crispy wings. So stunning photo here. Uh, smoked salmon and cucumber sushi balls and also a roast beef sushi ball. You can see both of those on this plate here. Next, we have a matcha granola, something a little different. I think I'm in love with this. This looks so good. I like putting matcha in so many things. Look at that. That's so cute. Uh, here we have an almond, quote, tofu pudding. So we're in our dessert section. Coffee jelly. Maybe you like making a boba tea, but you like the coffee jelly. You can make it yourself. We have matcha and black sesame cookies, a classic flavor combination so delicious and then oh goodness I think we have this is the um it's shokupan for a while my niece would only eat that for her sandwiches uh here we have melon pon yum and one more we have pork buns so that was the bread section so this is make it japanese there's a lot of great stuff in here there's curries i don't know if there was like a teriyaki recipe because i guess technically it's it is japanese but not really anyway there's a lot of great stuff in here lots of classics a lot of twists on some classics just some great fundamentals if you're looking for that japanese cookbook this is definitely it this is make it japanese check out our other play our japanese playlist though we have a ton of cooking or cookbooks that are japanese oriented and check out our other playlist we've got a ton if you're looking for something special a certain kind of cookbook and join us on our socials at cookbook divas on instagram facebook pinterest etc Thank you so much. Make sure to follow, subscribe, and comment. Let us know what cookbook you want us to go through next time.